Hello and welcome to uh, the uh, tutorial in how to use Whirly Gig Player and just sort of get started with it really. Um, so first off, I'm going to download it from the actual website. So if you go to the actual uh, uh, official Whirly Gig website, which is whirlygig.xyz, you can see there there's the download button. That will give you the latest version available. You can use these uh, links here. Um, or you can uh, use these direct links here below uh, if you have any problems with these ones. And there's a couple of versions prior to the uh, uh, unit, uh, the SDK 5.0 if you have issues. There's uh, three variants of the actual player. There's the Apple Mac version, uh, the 64-bit uh, version and the 32-bit version. Uh, the PC versions uh, are much later. The, the, the ones that I work on mostly, I don't actually have an Apple Mac, so the Apple Mac version is there and uh, you can download it, but um, it's much harder for me to give any support on that because uh, because I don't have a Mac. So, But it's there and it should work and uh, and uh, people have reported that it sort of works okay. It's uh, The actual playback of the video is a lot slower because it uses quick time. So let's first off download the 64-bit version. So, save. Now there's a couple of variants. I've, I've created an installer for the actual um, PC 64-bit and 32-bit version. You can download just a 32-bit, um, a 64-bit zip file here, which is just a folder which um, with the actual player in it. So you, if you download a lot of Unity apps, then that's uh, that's an example of uh, just you you'll recognise it as, as you recognise any other Unity apps. Uh, the installer is installed into your program files, but they also include the lav codec, uh, which which my player uses a um, uses direct filters. So uh, to be able to actually play back things like MP4s or MKVs. Uh, we, you need a Kodak direct, filter, uh, direct show filter to be installed. Uh, the best one out there that I found is the open source codec, lav codec, uh, which I've included with the install. So if we go through this at the moment, so as you can see, you've got the, uh, the player itself, which is required, and then a desktop shortcut if you want one, and then the lav video codec. Now I'm going to install the video codec with this just to demonstrate what to do as you go through. Um, it also registers the actual codec as preferred co uh, as the preferred codec for playback. So um, the players that your Windows Media Player might uh, might use uh, direct uh, codec filters, and also um, some of the some of the TV stuff also does uh, uses direct uh, direct show filters. Um, VLC doesn't. VLC has a built-in uh, codec set, which I think is based on the same. Runtime, but that's one of the reasons why uh, VLC plays back for uh, videos very smoothly, and also also has direct support because it has it all built in. But a lot of players don't, so and this is mine's one of them. So as you can see, the lav filters uh, setup has popped up. So if I go through that, so I'm just going to have go with all the defaults. And finish. So now, uh, now it's installed. You'll have under your start menu uh, your Whirly Gig folder. Uh, also, if you want to, you 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 will find here the Lav Filters folder if you want to uninstall the Lav Filters, uh, which, uh, as far as I can tell, uninstalls pretty well. So I'm not going to write straight off. I'm going to open the README file. Readme file gives uh, general details and also updates and fixes that I've done in the past few versions. Um, any any issues that might occur, let me know and I'll uh, do my best to fix them. Uh, there are occasional bugs and occasional glitches in, in the uh, player. Uh, it's always constantly work in progress, so, uh, so bear with me. But, uh, generally speaking, it seems to run okay and I've got quite a lot of good reports. So, okay. Uh, one other thing you'll find on the actual website is your keys. So these are the keys, standard keys for playback. Um, so if you want to know how to jump forward or jump backwards in a video, uh, such as page up and page down, that will jump forward a minute and it gives you a general understanding of the keys and I will refer to that in a second. So let's run the player. Got the health and safety warning there. 
Uh, now I've got the, uh, as you can see, I've got the Oculus already set up and working. Uh, if, you, if, for instance, you run it where it's not facing the right way, if you press R, it will reset, and you can see that in the list of the keys. And like so. Uh, if you don't have it running, it will, it will run, but it will just be frozen in place. So you can just press Escape or Quit out of the program, or you can use the arrow keys to go down and hit Quit there. Um, to enter or play or uh, run different bits, it's uh, either Enter or Spacebar and left and right will change the menus options. So I've got a couple of pictures in there, they're just PNGs, uh, they're just JPEGs, uh, just to demonstrate uh, for an initial startup. So there's a NASA Sun, which is a cinema curved, and there's a Fisheye 360 example. Uh, so all I'm doing there is I'm just hitting left and right and it'll go between the two. So we've also got settings, so you can change the settings here and tilt you can do this also. Anything that's got a number, well not actually anything that's got a number, but some of the numbers will be you can actually change just by hitting uh, typing out the number. So say for instance I wanted a 35 degree tilt. I just type 35 degrees and let it and let it stand and it'll go pop in. Enter doesn't accept it, it's just it will just do it automatically after after a second. So there we go. Now obviously you don't want to just watch the two uh, videos that are in there. Uh, you want to watch some of your own stuff. So if you press F8, it brings up a simple explorer, as you can see. So if I go up, folder, up, folder, up, folder, up, folder, up, folder, go to D drive. If you push it simply up and down and enter to go uh, to, to select. So if I go down, I've got a folder called Whirly Gig Stuff that I've made. Uh, I've got some videos, a couple of PNG, a PNG, a JPEG. Uh, frozen trailer and vortex. So if I select vortex, so that's now loaded in. I press enter and it will play it. Now vortex uh, is a dome-based uh, uh, film. It's fisheye, so I know it's fisheye. I know it's 180. And I'm going to pause. Nope, oh, there we go. <laughs> the car alarm going off. Uh, so. As you can see, it's uh, I, I know the options for this, so I can set the format up as I want it. So I know it's a dome, I know it's side by side. So these are all the options that are available. So dome, dome side by side, barrel, barrel side by side, barrel over under, cinema, which is just like a flat screen, cinema side by side, cinema over under, and this is a curved cinema screen just uh, for comfort. And they also, you've also got a custom format, and in the custom formats, you can add OBJs into a specific folder if you require custom format. So, in this case, I've got a Panasonic A500, which somebody asked for, uh, and a Cube Map, which is also requested. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to give help with creating custom formats if they're required, um, uh, and if anybody actually makes any and wants to share them and wants them to be in, in as, as default, I'm happy to put them in. So, we go through. So, I'll go back come back to that. So I know it's uh, I know this film is dome side by side. I know the person wanted it at 35 degree tilt or it might be 45 degree tilt but I'm going to go for 35. I know the field of view in this case is 180. The radius of the dome is going to be 20. Uh, the radius of a dome or a barrel is uh, essentially the size of room that you're in. So in this case it's 20 meter circumference uh, which is good for a side by side video. Uh, you won't notice a massive change if you go up and down unless you get really uh, to like a 10 metre range or a 5 metre range and then it'll feel quite claustrophobic. Uh, it won't give you a higher field of view uh, in a dome or barrel uh, because it's parallel to the eyes. So uh, so it's it's useful if you are if you know the settings but a lot of the time 20 is perfectly fine. So if we run that, as you can see, playing back and we have movement. So if I press pause which is spacebar or enter I'll go back to the main menu and then play again and go back also during playback you can skip forward by pressing the left and skip back pushing the uh, pushing the right and left so forward is right back is left if you want to jump forward if you've got like a film or something you want to jump forward a minute at a time you can do so by pressing page up and page down so, and that's the settings set up. Now, every time you load a video in, once 